All right, so I kind of skipped this review last week. I was busy. I'm going to do a quick one on it now to tie into Venom 20, which was actually pretty good. However, if you've been watching a lot of comic channels recently, Donny Cates has been making the news. He's running around talking about, you know, books being pirated and stuff like that, which I find humorous because manga is doing just fine right now, despite piracy. It's doing quite well. I think the reason, Donny Cates, that people are pirating is because they don't care and they were never going to buy the books anyway. And also, a lot of the people I think that pirate now just do it to read because I think a lot of you block people and treat them like ass, so they really don't have any respect for you anyway. So, there you go. But Donny Cates has been getting ahead so large lately that I think he enjoys huffing his own farts, which I find funny considering absolute carnage was absolutely dog shit. It was not a good, it was not a good series. It was all over the place, which I blame on the release schedule, not on him so much, but the event itself was still boring. It was a PG-13 carnage event. It wasn't good at all. For the hype that it received, it was bad. I got to tell you, I've seen much better when it comes to Carnage, and you absolutely dropped the ball. And you didn't really give it a good ending. What happens at the end of Absolute Carnage number five? What's the resolution to this book? How's it going to end? Oh, you guessed it. It's going to lead into another event <laughs> because Noel's coming back. So he's going to be back, and that's, of course, going to be another event or something. You know how marvelous. So there was, no, there was no absolute ending to this book. It sucked. It was a big disappointment. Stop huffing your own farts. You're a good writer, but you're not that good. That was like your first big event, which got multiple tie-ins, and you absolutely blew it. Now, you make up for it here because this was actually pretty good, but nonetheless... Absolute carnage sucked. But Venom, if you're just writing your own book, you seem to do okay. I can't say that Venom's been bad. I've enjoyed Venom, particularly this. I like where this is going. I don't know uh, where it's going, but it kind of looks like they're going to bring back the Ultimate Universe. The stuff with the Maker is what's really interesting here. Not so much Venom and Dylan. Uh, Maker figures out that the symbiote pretty much latched onto a fetus and created... Dylan Brock, and he summarizes that um, the, the Venom symbiote respawns every time there's an event that happens, like the Infinity Gauntlet with Thanos and stuff like that. That was around the time that Carnage got created. Uh, there's some interesting theories that get created here. Uh, the big thing at the end of the book, however is that we find out that the Ultimate Universe symbiote survived because Maker's trying to go home and they want to recreate they want to recreate the Ultimate Universe. And there's been a lot of hints that their Ultimate Universe is going to come back and I wonder I wonder if they're going to do something and maybe like do a new 52 merge the universes and reset. I could almost see that happening down the line. It would fix a lot of continuity problems and I wouldn't mind them resetting the clock, to be honest. But the cool thing here, and this is what I thought was awesome, is it turns out that he's working with the Council of Reeds, which I thought was really sweet. That's, I guess, to bring back the Ultimate Universe. But overall, I thought this was really cool. Uh, I liked the resolution here and the ending. So far, like Venom's been good. And this is a good way to end it for Absolute Carnage. I like this, you know, him working with the Council of Reeds. I've always thought that was a really cool idea. If you don't know what that is, it's basically in the multiverse, you know, there's a Reed Richards everywhere and they all get together and kind of work on universal problems and fixing stuff. And I thought, I always thought that was a really cool idea. They pop up here and there and then they popped up in this book and I thought that was pretty sweet. But that's pretty much it. So this was a pretty good book. Uh, like I said, stop huffing your own farts, Donny Cates, because you, you are good. You do have talent, but sometimes I think that gets to your head and you write things like Absolute Carnage, which was absolute trash. Uh, your Venom run is pretty good.
anyway, stop being an ass. Why don't you take Tim Doyle out of here? That guy's a that guy's a jack off. Anyway, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.